Hola gente de la internet, ¿cómo están? En este vídeo quería continuar en la que hicimos el día de ayer y presentarles cómo funciona iPile directamente por el doctor Ahmed Laisi. Hemos estado en la 44 conferencia aquí en Chicago de la DFI y ha sido muy interesante. Sin entrar más en cosas de detalles, vamos directo al grano en cómo funciona iPile y en la pregunta que le voy a hacer, la voy a hacer aquí en español, ¿por qué él considera que es el equipo con mayor eficiencia de coste? My question to you, Dr. Halaisi, is uh, why, yesterday we were talking about why you consider this equipment, iPile, to be the most cost-effective solution to do pile integrity. I would like you to, to show us the equipment working and you to explain us with an example why do you consider this to be so? Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, it's uh, like uh, hello everybody from uh, Chicago. It's, uh, it's it was a great uh, it was another great day at uh, the DFI event, uh, and we look forward to meeting uh, more of your you professionals uh, in our session tomorrow. Uh, make sure come visit up by our booth one 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 six. And going back to your question, uh, why why iPile? iPile is designed with engineer at the core. Uh, it's designed for a world that is connected more than ever before. Okay, uh, it's designed for a world of connectivity. Uh, iPile is about enabling engineers uh, do more uh, engineering stuff uh, and focus on uh, productivity. Uh, so instead of like having uh, this a device, uh, traditional device that is like uh, requires a bulky a uh, piece of data logger, uh, a sensor that is connected by wires and things like that. Uh, it's, uh, it's only a wireless sensor. You turn this device on, okay? And you have tablet, you can buy your own tablet, you can, you can use uh, the tablet that we provide, and you just get connected uh, with your app uh, on the Bluetooth. I'm going to show it to you here. Uh, just to make sure like you you see uh, how easy it is to collect data with iPile. So you open the app, you go to the project, okay, you create a new project, let's, uh, let's uh, name it Ignacio. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ignacio and uh, site location, Chicago. Uh, description, uh, fire chat, and today is the 16th October. And when we are done, we have created the project. We we save it. So now this project is created. And then what we need to do is adding piles. So tonight uh, we will consider this table is is your pile. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's call pile number one. Uh, description. Uh, table and uh, let's just give it uh, like a imaginary pile depth or let's imagine this is like 25 meter okay and then uh, we can take a photo from the uh, site to keep it in the memory and we use this photo for our database and then we create pile okay now we are all set the only thing we have to do is connect the iPile to, uh, to the tablet using Bluetooth, uh, and we do it like this. Now it's all connected, okay? Now the next thing that we have to do, just impact the pile head and collect the information. You see? Cool. Yeah, but, uh, it's pretty cool. Can you cool. interpret this data? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is physics, so I can't interpret this data, uh, uh, but uh, I can show you like uh, show da us. data from like a real project. Like uh, this is like a, a good project that I have. Let me. Uh, So you see, this is this is a pro, this is kind of graphs that you collect, like kind of information that you grab in a job site. These are acceleration. 
by the way. So acceleration should be integrated in order to get what we call uh, velocity curve, okay? And normally people, engineers use velocity chart uh, versus time to do uh, integrity testing, uh, evaluation of uh, integrity test results. So in, in the velocity, you will see a major peak at the beginning. This peak is uh, usually referred to uh, reflection, the direct uh, waves that uh, arrive to the sensor. And then uh, the next major like peaks is going to be coming back from like, the pile two. In some projects, uh, like uh, you have uh, the pile two is not super clear. In some projects, it is clear. Uh, the app helps you like filter the test results so you can always smooth the test results. You, you, there is a, a amplification factor that you can use to amplify uh, the weak signals that are coming from the pile two. By amplifying, you will be able to uh, amplify the reflections that are coming from the pile two. Uh, and you go and you find the location of the uh, pile, t uh, pile two, and this will be your pile two reflection. You save the results and you press the analyze and uh, it is ready for you to generate a PDF report. So you go there, you click on report and you have your like a PDF report handy and ready. As easy as that. So this is, this is designed with engineer in mind. So the whole objective is to make uh, the, progress, the, the process of doing the pilot integrity testing in field like very easy for the engineers. So engineers can focus on the main job uh, which is like uh, doing the hard work of interpreting the test results. Uh, so everything else is very easy to do. So this is what you consider to be the most cost-effective solution. In a, an idea, at, at a production question, let's say how many uh, piles can uh, your clients do in India with iPile? So that is different. Uh, that's a very difficult question to answer. If uh, in an ideal scenario, uh, I would say like uh, anywhere from five to ten minutes you need to spend on each pile to collect uh, to collect uh, uh, reasonable like uh, data that you you can uh, you you can verify the quality of the signal that you have collected. If you, if you just want to do the test and uh, pass by, you can literally do every two to three minutes. So you can do one pile. Uh, but that is not what not not what we recommend. We always recommend to uh, spend enough amount of time. Uh, make sure you have uh, good quality signals. Uh, sometimes engineers uh, come back to me uh, with signals that they don't make sense. So this device works based on principles of physics, physics of uh, wave traveling inside the medium. Uh, you don't follow the rules, and you will just collect garbage. Uh, so it's very important to know what you are doing. Like for example, you saw tonight, if you do it on the table, you are just going to collect noise. Uh, and you are not doing this test to, do, to collect noise, you are doing this test to collect uh, low strain deformations that is made as a result of your ham hammer impact on the pile head. Thank you very much. Another thing, what offer do you have for this special uh, and, and until when to anybody that, uh, with the link that is below, request for a quote. What is, what is the discount you're offering from the list price and until when? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so as, as part of like uh, our, uh, our uh, uh, promotion during the DFI event, uh, like until the end of the show, uh, we will have 15% discount on people who place the order or place their uh, quotation. Uh, through our website or through our like uh, sales partners uh, around the globe, uh, like uh, Geotechnica Online included. Uh, so we will be uh, helping uh, customers, uh, making it a little bit more easier for them to acquire this new technology. Uh, and the good thing about it is, uh, this is this actually enables engineers to do to add a new line of business to to uh, already great uh, things that they are doing. So this is always like extra. Everybody loves extra. So this will be your extra service to your customers, and I'm sure like your customers will love you uh, even uh, better. Muchísimas gracias por estar por aquí. El, voy a dejar eh, aquí al lado los otros dos vídeos que corresponden a esta serie y les vemos muy pronto. Muchísimas gracias. Hasta pronto, amigos. Adiós.